How are you doing? It's Mick Tilly here with Roma TV and we're at the press conference as you can see for Kimbo versus Thompson and Daly versus Koscheck. And I don't know, this is the man himself, Liam McGeary, the first ever legit British champion, am I right? You are right yeah? indeed. And I noticed that you might have a new nickname because you were Liam the Peacemaker McGeary there when they had the star up. I never thought I'd see you step in to stop a fight. Mate, you know what it was? I didn't know I had my boss saying Liam, Liam, Liam. And then somebody else was like, Liam, look, Liam, help. And I'm like, I turn around, I see him, I'm like, oh dear, I was like, hold on. Then I had somebody else, it's like the old school days, fight, 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 fight. And I was always the one to spoil it then. First one to cry, yeah? Exactly. That's how it works. Right. So, you, you, don't, you spend a lot of your time now in New York, right? Is that right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I've moved over to New York, um, I live in Brooklyn, I've got a girlfriend over there, so it's... Right. Yeah, I, I actually kept an eye out for you, I was over at, I was over at Hen's House at the end of February, because some of the boys, I was... I was training there. Yeah. But you're you're are you train where are you training? Are you training? I train at Hensos. Do you I thought you were at Tom's River? No, no, no. no. Oh, oh right. Here. Explain this. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. I lived I did live in Tom's River. Uh, I stayed with uh, another guy, I'm not gonna mention his name. Right. Uh, things went a little bit south after a few weeks and he kicked me out. Really? Yeah, so it was like, uh, I ended up moving into a friend's. So there's, there's a whole story. And were you just like, I'm the best house guest ever and he was like, you're leaving, you know, you're leaving the towels on the floor and yeah, that. No, no, it was more of a, it was more of a, we both, we hit, we hit a crossroads. Right. I, I, I didn't agree on what he wanted to do and he didn't agree on what I was doing. So. Well, that was it. But, yeah, how you... You don't mind me saying, right? I was over and I did the 7 a.m. classes every morning, right? So I did the 7 a.m. classes. The shark Tank. Yeah. Oh, tell you, How'd I, you get on? Did you oh, get shit. bit? I'm awful. Bit. I was eating. Trust me. I went in there and I was like, you go in there at 7 a.m. and uh, what's the fourth degree black belt there? Brazilian guy. Lovely guy. He takes, he takes uh, fourth or third degree. Sure. Yes. Zed. Said, built like a tank, right? Said. Yeah, so he crushed me. And I tell you what, I'm that bad. Even Michael Jackson's blue belt son would beat me. I'm like, honestly, I swear to God, I'm not the worst, worst jujitsu player. Yeah, it is. Matt time, man. Matt, Matt, Matt time in, and then you'll be all right. And now that's going to get me onto something, right? You're with a guy who's got legendary status. And the first time I met him, I thought he would be bigger, is John Danaher. Because you walk in, you think, and then you see, and now. He's looking stacked, right? But this guy is like Einstein. Dude, the and guy is an absolute wizard. You know, he comes out with these techniques and it's like inch here, inch there, and it's, yo, they're nasty. Because you're a, you're a blue, uh, brown belt. Brown belt, Brown belt, yeah. brown belt with them. Yeah. Right, and who do you do most of your training with when you're at Henzo's? Is it with John? I mean, John is, my, yeah, John is the, the instructor in the mornings. We yeah. do the morning class as well. Um, I train with um, I train with like, the bigger dudes. We call ourselves the dancing bears. Well, John Dana actually calls them the dancing. Bears. I thought I thought I thought it was the Dana had death squad. Oh no 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 yes yeah, so that's the dent <laughs> there the Dana had death squad man then. Well, you got, I, I went in there and Eddie Cummins. It was Eddie Gary Turnham. Uh, yeah, Octavia, the, the the chick that's always hanging yeah. with them as well, dude. They're all nasty. I, I, all really, really, yeah. You go in there and it's like, wait a minute. I was in Times Square two seconds ago, and now I'm and you know it is. Uh, when I go there, I actually I stay at the Affinity Hotel across the right. road yeah, from yeah, Madison yeah. Square Garden, and I go in there. So how has that elevated your game? Do you reckon? Massively rolling with these guys, rolling with having John Danaher as, a, as an instructor. I mean, Bradley Westema is my master from originally in, in, really? in England. What, what, really, I didn't know that. Yes, my, my instructor is Neil Simpkin, obviously. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes. So, and Bradley, obviously, is his instructor. Bradley is yeah. a real good friend of mine. Bradley is a top, top dude. But I trained over in Jersey, Channel Islands, under the tutelage of Rob Staples, right? I didn't know that. Yeah, wow. Uh, yeah, so Rob Staples, I, I was living there, training with Rob Staples. Bralia was like coming over. Yeah. A friend of me hooked me up in America. I was Paul, Paul Allett? Do you know Paul? Yeah, Paul Allett. Really? <laughs> no way! Paul, Paul. Yeah! <laughs> I tell you what, Paul, if you're watching this, <laughs> mate, Neil Simpkin said to me, right, at the, at the, at the Nogi, so I met, him, I, met him in the, I met him in the semis, met yeah. Paul in the semis, and Neil was like, 
if Paul Alec beats you, and Paul, you're a lovely guy, but you know what Neil's like, Neil hates anyone to lose, right? And he goes, if you lose, don't ever come back to the club. And I said, what do you want to do? He says, put him on his back. And he goes, you either submit him or you don't let him up. And like, yeah, I didn't, su I didn't submit him, but we had a, we had a bit of a ding dong. He said, yeah, but we're old men, you know what I mean? Listen, but he's a lovely guy, right? That, that dude started the same time as me. Right? Really? I walked. I think I walked into the gym, and maybe a month after he he walked in, right? And he stuck at it. Now that's what four years ago, so 2009. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably started. Yeah, 2009. He started right. 2008. Yeah, yeah. He stuck at it, and he's. he's do, you, do, you know, do you know? Do you know when I? Do you know when I better. started? I started in 2009. Because on my fortieth birthday, I, I did, uh, yeah, we, I mess around at grappling and stuff, but right. yeah, you know, shit stuff, right? And then on my fortieth birthday, went in, trained with John Danaher, and I got smashed. And I was like, I'm going to start jujitsu. And I was like, in ten years, I'm going to be a black belt. And uh, seven years later, I'm nowhere near it. Just but, keep trying. Yeah, you got to keep trying. Matt time, Matt time, Matt time. Matt time. So what's the future hold apart from you? Because know, things are looking pretty good, right? right? And we were talking there earlier about you got a couple of fights and then maybe Linton. That'd be. What do you reckon? Yeah, that'd I mean, be a good one on this on this soil, this, wouldn't it? On this soil, yeah. On this that soil, would be that'd, an be, absolutely, a, that'd uh, be a ding dong, right? Yeah. But who you, know. you got? Who you got eyes in the future for? I got my eyes on Phil Davis and King Mo. I want the winner of that fight. You know, I mean, to be honest with you, I'd, I, I do. I want. I like Mo. You know, I mean, yeah. Mo's, Mo's, Mo's a friend of mine. Yeah. So I do want Phil Davis. Phil Davis is ranked number four. He's yeah. making all that noise saying he wants to be come and fight for the title. And he's calling himself Mr. Wonderful. I know. And yeah, uh, come on. Right. Yeah, you better be wonderful or a close approximation to that. Exactly. And then, so you go for them, and then what do you reckon after that? Just whoever they get put whoever, in front of you? Whoever they put in front of me. Whoever, yeah. uh, whoever deserves the title shot next, then, then I will be happy to fight. It's, it's great to be a champ, eh? It is good to be a champ. i tell you what. Even get this bling bling. Azad watches. Azad watches. Probably the best timepiece in their price range, as I recall. Yo, they're very nice. Very they nice are. timepieces. And, uh, uh, and they, they, they do them all themselves. They set the stones and... It looked pretty good. Cool. And also, I noticed on Facebook recently, you did a seminar while you were over in the UK. Oh, right. so yeah. I'm in the middle of a, my UK tour at the moment. Right, so. so you want to give a shout out to anyone while you're doing this? Yeah, I mean, a shout out to all the clubs that have let me in there. You've got the Den. Then I was with my mate Damon Goodson. He's in Kings Lynn. I went down to Andover. I was in... Uh, Phoenix Andover, my friend Tarek and Big Chris. Phoenix Andover, Jimmy Johnson's place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jimmy's, Jimmy's yes, the yes, mate yes, yes, a bit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy hits on my ass there recently. He's over in Vietnam. He's got a real good uh, Saigon. Yeah, so that's a good deal, man. So that's Jimmy's that's the man. Yeah, that's their their, their instructor. Yeah, they are. Um, I've been over in Jersey, Channel Islands, uh, my, my my old club, Gracie Bar, Channel Islands. Great club. Um, Rob Staples, big thank you. Put Top that. man, Rob. Top yeah. man. Yeah. Um, yes. I also, also. I've got a release of a book. <laughs> yes. Tell right. me more. So anyone who knows me, anyone who knows me, they'll be like, Liam and a book? Yes, it's got loads of pictures in it. There's a bit of writing in there, but there's more pictures. So my friend followed me behind for about four weeks when I was what, fighting for this. It's, a, it's called The Fight, a story told by John Leo. Um, if, you, if you care for a purchase, then uh, you can hit me up on my, my social media. Liam McGeary, Liam underscore McGeary is my Twitter. Liam McGeary one is Instagram and Liam McGeary is my Facebook. And if you don't mind me saying, that's probably the best hair in MMA. Jo uh, James Thompson's just going past him. His hair, but he's, he's planning on stealing Kimbo's beard. Yes. And he reckons he's going to wear it like a Donald Trump hair piece. So uh, I was trying to get it off him, actually. Oh, well, you're, you're, you're I need it. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I don't think I'll argue with him over the beard. But Liam, I tell you what, it's Mate. been a pleasure. Thank you Thank very you much. So much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.